Hi, everybody. Laura Basson here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be joining my favorite things on their blog, sharing a couple of fun projects using some of their brand new dyes. I'm starting with this congratulations die. This die comes in a set of a bunch of really cool congratulations themed dies, and I'm, but I'm not using all of them, just using this one. It's called the Congratulations Shaker, the set. And I, I, it's probably designed for shakers. And as much as I adore shakers, and I feel like I've almost overdone shakers on my blog, because I really, really do love shakers. But I wanted to show how you can get a little more mileage out of these dies. You don't have to make a shaker. And so today's a fun uh, idea of using some of these Congratulations dies, especially this particular one, in a way that's not a shaker. Okay, so what I did was I started with a standard white card and I had some scraps of uh, cardstock in pretty colors, and I just adhered them on diagonally. I cut each of the stripes three-fourths of an inch wide. Okay, so now the congratulations. We're moving on. Um, I cut four of them in white cardstock, and I'm going to stack them with glue or layer them. And this gives you some of that thickness, because normally I like to use foam tape. It gives it that dimension and shadow on your card. But this is such an intricate little die that you might uh, go cross-eyed trying to put little slivers of foam tape behind each of those tiny little letters to make it sturdy enough, you know? So by layering your die cut gives it that thickness that you would try to achieve with the foam tape, but makes it much more sturdy, much better for handling and mailing. You just don't have to worry about it getting bent. So you can see there the four. Now I'm gonna adhere that straight onto my card, but I wanna get a couple more strips down at the bottom just to give a little more color. So I had some late, um, leftover strips there when I trimmed my card. I'm just going to put those on on the bottom. I have been making a ton of graduation cards lately. I've had some friends ask me to make some for them, and I have needed several myself. So I'm going to tell you what. This card is going to come into use very, very soon. In fact, probably tomorrow. <laughs> so I love it when I can make a card and it gets used right away instead of sitting in my stash of, oh boy, I have a lot of cards made. <laughs> I make a lot of cards and they don't all get used, but this one is going to get used. And I think it's great for um, like a teenager or college age. It's kind of sophisticated, but it's still really trendy and cool. I love that block sentiment. Anyway, okay, so after I made this, I decided after the fact, I wanted to add the graduation cap. So I used the graduation accents. I love this uh, graduation cap. Put that on. Sorry, I got to keep up. We're moving on to the second card. Okay, this one uses the say hello die. And this one's so fun. I love this speech bubble with the hello sentiment in it. Both of my cards that I've made today use zero stamping. It's all die cutting because all these uh, new dies have the sentiment already in built in. So you don't even need to do any stamping. It's great. Makes your cards come together really fun. And they're really unique. Anyhow, okay, so I'm doing something very similar that I did on the first card. I'm using some strips, this time pattern paper, some pretty striped pattern paper. I cut them all two, three, fourths an inch wide, just like I did in my first card, and I'm adhering them down onto this scrap of paper. This is going to go underneath my hello speech bubble. I'm trying to keep up with myself here on the video. <laughs> okay, so after I've got that all adhered, I'm going to trim that up, get it nice and clean around the edges. And we're going to adhere our hello on top. Now, just like on the first one, I'm going to stack three or four. I think I ended up doing four of these hellos. Again, this hello, it's kind of intricate. So it would be really difficult to put foam tape behind each of those little scripty letters. So when you stack them, you get that thickness and dimension that you try to achieve with foam tape. And it's just better. It's better for mailing. It's better for your overall mood, too, because when you try to cut little slivers of foam tape, you know what happens. You end up cutting your finger, and then you get really ticked off. And so, anyway, doing this is just better for your life. It's better for your life all in general. Okay, this card's finished. I added a couple of enamel dots, and that is all there is to it. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks to My Favorite Things for having me. I hope you have a wonderful day.